that these lithium ion cells, if they get discharged uh, too much, they won't go into the charger. <clears throat> this will be a defective battery. So I got my 12 volt to 19.2 volt charger. Got my dead lithium ion battery. You can tell it doesn't have uh, anything. Even when they're low, they have a, a green light. So I'm going to put that on there, and you'll see it'll go into its test mode. Let's see if I can move that up for you. So it goes into its test mode on there, flashing. And now when it does the uh, slow red, it is uh, defective. That's what this little slow red thing means. So, that means uh, these cells here. So if you guys know, I'm um, in a series circuit, voltage is additive. I got pictures I posted already of, uh, of the cells. There's a five of the, I think it's 18650 lithium ions. Those are uh, 3.7 voltage cells. So there's five of them. You know, just do the quick math if it's fully charged. Um, you don't want them to drop below. I think it's 1.7 volts. Um, and if you can see this cell right here, let me switch it around here for you. Uh, this cell right here, you're looking at, you know, a 4.7 volts. So for five cells, it's less than a volt a cell. Um, so what I'm going to do here is uh, I saw on the internet people like to jump start their batteries and if you um, go ahead and hit them with a, just a little bit of voltage and get them above that threshold voltage they're supposed to kind of wake up there's a self-protection feature in there that shuts off current flow it's called a shunt all right so what I'm gonna do here is uh, that guy had a power supply I don't have a power supply so I've got a range of batteries Um, these are my 19.2 volt batteries. What I want to do here is find the one that has the lowest voltage. So this guy's at 20.7. That guy's at, whoops, 19.7. Obviously, that's a bad one. And this guy's at our 19.3. So, being that I don't want to screw up a good battery, it's my other lithium ion, my uh, 4 amp hour one, I'm going to go ahead and use one of these. Got some jumper cables here. Got a couple spade terminals. Now again, watch this on the internet. This guy had a, a trickle charger, and I checked mine out. My trickle charger is not working. So, all right. So let me go ahead and terminate these, and then I'll start the video again. All right, we're back here. Uh, I went ahead and terminated these. Go ahead and slide all this stuff back so you get a good view here. So we've already determined, this is our positive polarity right here. Um, this is our positive polarity right here. I've hooked up with the space, um, the 19 volt. So solid blue is our positive, um, and this is our negative. And just for good measure, check that one more time. It's kind of like when you're building stuff. Uh, measure twice, cut once. So, not to do anything here. So again, starting voltage on this battery was uh, 4.7 volts. So. Let's see if uh, just the guy had done it, he just kind of sparked it. Um, I'm just going to hit it one, hit it two, hit it three. Okay, so he did it three times with his little trickle charger. Let's see if it changed anything here. Okay, so already we're at 5.6 volts. Um, so what I want to do is um, I basically want to get this battery. I want to, I feel like I want to get it up around, you know, nine volts or something like that um, so the charger can do that. So I'm going to hit this one more time. One. Two, three. Let's go ahead and hit this battery again. Okay, so we're at you know about six volts. So let's go ahead and try this. See if this works here. I'm gonna throw this cell in here. See if we can get it. So it's going through its testing phase right now. It's my dogs. <laughs> okay, so there you are. Um, we are now solid red green flashing which is indicated by charging so can you guys have lithium ion batteries and you were thinking about replacing them uh, try this method first uh, I'll follow up if this battery explodes or something like that but I highly uh, don't, don't think that's gonna happen but anyway thanks for watching so it's been about an hour we put our battery in the charger after I uh, woke up a lithium ion cell so it's still sitting there, I haven't messed with it. It's uh, fully charged, about an hour, which is usually what they take. 
Um, for a voltage comparison, my other lithium ion battery. Um, remember, it was already partially discharged. Now, no, we have these little test thing on here. And this is giving the orange light indication, which means it's at medium, which doesn't tell me much about voltage. So, um, But I will tell you that it's uh, we're at like 19.3 volts. Now, uh, with lithium ions, they are supposed to maintain the voltage throughout the, throughout the entire discharge cycle, um, as opposed to like knife heads and stuff like that. That's what makes lithium ions so much better. It's just go and then stop. Okay, so... Here's our battery. Uh, you push the little button, it's green. That's back to the way it was. Uh, let's go ahead and hook her up, see what voltage we got. So we're looking at uh, 20.56 volts. Awesome. So uh, I got my impact driver here. Yep. Everything's good to go. Uh, yep. So there it is. If you want to uh, wake up your lithium ion cell, there you go. It's good to go. Thanks for watching, guys.